This is for the viewers that have been down since day one. Let's start the show. Oh, hey guys. I'm Katie Wheeler. I'm your host of Ellensburg Extreme, and I am happy to announce that we have no more interruptions. All my furniture is back, and I'm just looking forward to things just things just running <laughs> things just running smoothly. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> How do you get rid of the hiccups again? <laughs> is it holding your breath? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay, well. Okay, while well, I try to get rid of my, my hiccups, why don't you guys just watch the third part of C, C, C S I T F. I bet Gus Grizzly never gets the hiccups. It's not really a mile long. I'd just be stupid. It's just something people say. It's really just a fairly big folder. Not as big as some of the other ones I've seen in this building, but in comparison, it's fairly large. That is a fairly big inconvenience, and I am actively pursuing the thought of yelling at you. One minute with him. I'll get everything we need to know out of him. You're not allowed in the interrogation room since the teddy bear incident. Damn it, man! We don't have time for foreshadowing possible character development. Fine, but I'm going in there with you. Fine, but I'm gonna play bad cop. I too will also play bad cop. Before we go in there, I need to know exactly what happened to that man. I remember the smell of the yesterday. Wasn't it earlier today, like less than an hour ago? It's all coming back to me now. If there was some grainy black and white footage produced for some comm class by college students. I ran the other way around the train building, positioning myself in front of my court. And I released a terror unlike the world had ever seen. A nuclear powered shotgun. Fired shoots much smaller but similar nuclear powered shotguns, which each in turn fire nuclear missiles, each capable of destroying a city block. Then what? Banana peel. My god. Yes. But anyway, when I threw that banana peel down, it landed on the sidewalk. And as the perp drew closer, I realized what I had released. He never saw it coming. Lovely. Death? He's still alive. I just talked to him. Well, yes, but the badgers resuscitated him. The what? The badgers. When he fell, he fell into a family of starving, rabid badgers. When they were ripping into his torso, they somehow restarted his heart. I couldn't help but notice that that last flashback had audio. I thought it would add something. It did. So badgers, huh? That's why he looks so messed up. Well, partly. That's when Mick O'Connor showed up. Officer Mick O'Connor? Yes. Mick showed up, lost control of his vehicle, hit the perp and ran over him. When he realized what he did, he did what any self-respecting officer would do. He got the hell out of there. That Mick O'Connor, he's a good guy. And then you brought the perp in for questioning, right? Well, not quite. He's actually uh, irrigated on by a joking college student. What? Mick drove off. A few seconds later, a drunken college student came over, squatted, and relieved himself. Well, that explains the smell. <laughs> well, that was it, right? After that, you brought him in for questioning? Not, not quite. Just as I was about to grab the perp, Mick once again lost control of his vehicle, ran over him, and drove off. Hmm. Well, that was a textbook situation, Gus, and you handled yourself well. Thanks. Now let's go have a talk with our run-over, peed-on, badger-attacked, re-run-over, and before anyone got here, I roughed up a little friend of ours, shall we? 
Also, I offered him a soda, and I never brought it. And then, and then I splashed him with my coffee. It was burning hot. And then I took these two chalk erasers, and I was just banging them together in there for like 20 minutes. And it was just all, it was all filled with all this chalk, and he was coughing and wheezing. And then I opened up the window, and it got really, really cold in there. Listen, punk, if you don't tell me what I want to know, I'm going to break every single one of your fingers. Why did you beat, stab, brutally rape, and kill that girl? What do you mean you didn't beat, stab, brutally rape, and shoot that girl? Then why did you run? Overdue library books. You sick, sick. Bastard! You got the wrong stone, James. Hey, it's okay. Not again. What was that? You saw the rapist. Could you describe the rapist? Pen and paper. Pen and paper. Abstract. Hey, come scotch down, don't fret, 100% guaranteed, you bet. Don't let the hiccups let your hopes drop. <laughs> Go to your local grocer and get yourself some Hick Stop. Hick Stop, where hiccups go to die. Man, they have a cure for everything. Okay, I'm gonna go to the store, and hopefully I will not run into my weird naked neighbor ever since I gave him that Gift. He's been acting really weird. He wants to involve me in some weird scheme against the paper boy or something. All right. I hope this works. Could you please take off the sheet now, Charlie? Junk could look like shaved. Hmm. What if I cut myself? Bled out and died. They'd find me dead, naked, lying in my bathroom. Oh my god. Well, me maybe that's only if you have an erection. Ah, screw it. Ah, shit. Thanks again for saving me, you guys. That was a close one. It was just a little nick, Charlie. No problem. Oh, well. Oh, the show must go on, right? I hope my movies are here. didn't get here like I thought they were going to. I'm just gonna sit here for the rest of the day and watch Bob Ross and wait for that paper boy to come back. That's right. This day of reckoning has come. It's time for me to seek revenge on that persecuting little bastard. Is here, I'd like to wish you happy painting and God bless my friend. Shh, shh, shh. Right. He's late today, but I have a feeling he's coming soon. It's your day of reckoning, you pudgy little bastard. Don't hate the naked! 